This week I'm living out my best childhood fantasy. I'm feeling like a pink Power Ranger, honey. I always wanted to be the pink Power Ranger. Let's just get into these readings, honey. Hey girl. <laughs> my pink Power Ranger powers are just too much for this singing ball. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today, Virgo, I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week. Now, Virgo, uh, when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Virgo. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Virgo, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you, Virgo, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, if you do find some cards that tear, uh, some tarot cards that resonate with you, Virgo, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Uh, let me know which card resonates with you and how, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Um, and then also, if you do find some cards, that tarot cards that resonate with you, Virgo, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does support my tarot reading channel a lot, Virgo, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Virgo. And then finally, uh, before you get into this reading, Virgo, I just want to say for the last time that I don't feel like any type of tarot reading, any tarot cards should be making decisions in your life. I feel like tarot cards, tarot readings should be here to uh, give you some food for thought. Tarot readings are here to give you a perspective to consider as you go throughout your life. It's not here to make a decision in your life, Virgo, because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, not any tarot reader that you receive a tarot reading from, Virgo. At least that's my personal opinion on it but um take with that as you will virgo all that being said now let's get into your weekly general tarot reading virgo so the uh i'm doing a new format virgo for your tarot cards for your tarot reading and so i pulled a card for like what is going to be the um objective right i called it a quest for taurus virgo but what is going to be the objective that you guys are working towards this week what lesson what is it that you need to embody right and you guys actually got two cards which i didn't realize until right now um uh, you guys got the six of rings as well as the dawn of cups so this is the page of cups essentially normal tarot and the six of pentacles so what does this talk about page of cups or the dawn of cups represents a new i always say pages represents new beginnings but it's also just the sense of um it's almost like exploring like an exchange of some sort um virgo it's almost like there's this sense of um being shown someone like dipping their toes in water so it's like kind of like putting a tester out into something like putting testers out perhaps virgo into being like oh how does this feel how is how does virgo feel while being in this situation how does virgo feel while communicating with this person how does virgo feel while in this emotion right how does virgo it's, that's kind of like seemingly the theme it's just like how does virgo feel when virgo does x right and it does seem to just be an extremely experimental time for you right now virgo so i really do enjoy that so in this uh in this fashion as well virgo we have the knight of earth following you as well and so i always say the knight of earth or the knight of pentacles because pentacles is earth energy virgo your energy um i say like the knight of pentacles i personally personally really enjoy i know some people will see the knight of pentacles as slow forward movement but i don't really see it in that way i mean i guess technically in terms of distance maybe um, as if we're having there's some type of measurement or race <laughs> but i say this just because it's like um, it comes off as like the Knight of Pentacles is going slowly, but it's only going slowly because the Knight of Pentacles is experiencing a lot of new things at once, right? The Knight of Pentacles, I say, is like an individual who is going out of their comfort zone to go into uncharted territory to make that uncharted territory, Virgo, their new comfort zone, right? So it's like each step that you take, the amount of energy that it takes to make that distance, um, this is like tenfold right and this is uncomparable so for you virgo it does seem to be just the sense of where it's like just dip your toes into things experiment this week virgo don't be so critical on yourself and feeling as if um everything that you need to do or everything that you do virgo needs to always be 
um, adding some type of value, uh, like monetary value, we'll say. Uh, it doesn't need to be adding always monetary value. You know, the things that you do um, doesn't always need to come out be perfect. It doesn't need to always, you know, be in such a way, right? It's almost just Virgo exploring, you know, this just kind of taking away the perfectionist nature, perhaps, Virgo. And I'm not saying, I mean, maybe some of you guys are perfectionists, but it's just this sense of being able to be, um, not that I think anything's going to be mediocre, Virgo, but I feel like you'll understand what I mean by just like being able to just be okay and just not even, I was going to say be okay with mediocrity, but I don't even see things from like the scale where it's just like professional to mediocrity. Just see it as like a sense of expression, see it as like a sense of just like you experiencing this life, you going into this journey and being like, well, I may look bad, I may look silly while doing it, but you know, um, you don't know quite what it is that you're doing, but you just know you're doing something that you're challenging yourself in a new way, right? may not come off as like you yourself right now this week Virgo are doing anything productive to the outside world you may not even feel like you're doing anything productive because it's not um a week where it's like I feel like you're doing too many exchanges where it's just like forward like physical like elevated growth in terms of like your finances not to say that you're not but I see this more so just focusing in on just exploring things that like and see how it feels right and just be like looking around and just be like oh like do you want to set up camp like over here instead right just allowing us uh, considering new things um with this ace or spoiler alert you have ace of pentacles the fool card <laughs> and the ace of pentacles virgo but this dynamic this is truly such a wave where it's just like letting i mean and it's my card maybe that fool card honey that's my card of letting go and letting god as i like to say it's that card of just like trusting in the divine and trusting into just being like you know what i'm gonna you're gonna fall back into that water and you're just gonna hope that that water is deep enough and you're not even just gonna hope you're just going to be like of course it's going to be enough it's like you know it's going to work out in a sense right with this ace of pentacles you don't even consider um, an avenue of where it's just like the things that you're doing are not adding some type of value to the world. It's, you know, with the fool, the fool doesn't consider that the fool is so, is such a popular card um, for a lot of reasons, but I feel like the fool, a lot of people resonate with just because it's like, it's what people want to aspire to be of where it's like they're able to just live their life, live into their passions, where it's like they just seem like the crazy eccentric one to everybody else, but to you, you're just following your passions and just following what just feels good to you. And I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles here, I do feel like it's like through you dipping your toes this week, Virgo, that you kind of like find your, um, you find that um, your cornucopia, your small cornucopia with this Ace of Pentacles. And I, and I guess what I mean by this is more so like you find something through the through you going into this journey, um, Virgo, like through you going into this uncharted territory, something that um, just like makes you feel really good. So let's just say like, you know, I was saying like, oh, don't worry about things being a monetary value. But like, maybe you just have like, I always say like, maybe you like, do you discover like a love for knitting? Maybe you may not like, I'm not going to sit here and say like, maybe that like that love of knitting is going to be just like your this abundance and brings forth so many blessings, like physical, financial blessings, Virgo. But I do see like you dipping your toes into other things, some type of something coming into fruition for you, some type of um, value being added into your life, not just from a sense of, um, self-expression and not just like a sense of um character development and stuff like that i do see something um benefiting you in some way so definitely uh this week virgo adopt this night of earth energy adopt this sense don't be afraid of exchanging energies with people don't be afraid of um connecting um and just you know Put, put feelers out there this week, Virgo, and see what comes back and see how it comes back, you know? That's kind of seemingly like the theme of the, this message so far. And then we have the King of Wands as well as the Ace of Swords here. Now, in this dynamic, one thing I want to say as well, 
um, I always feel inclined to say it, Virgo, when I see it, as like a tarot reader, when you see a bunch of aces coming up in the upright like this, this is usually a sign of like an affirmation of just like doing something, being like, yes, go ahead and do this, right? Um, so and this, you know, it's kind of interesting that we have, I'm just now noticing it. It's interesting in this fashion, Virgo, that we have this just because it's like with the ace of swords and these are like ideas these are like creative new ideas that you're exploring and things that are just coming up and just like you wake up one day and be like oh maybe i want to explore knitting today right maybe i want to just look at like you know it's just in this fashion it's just like you know write everything down virgo and don't don't base your decisions on like what you want to do or like things that you want to explore based off of like how successful you think you'll be at it right or how you think the result will be Think about it from a place of just being like if it's coming to mind and it sounds like it would be fun to you just do it because king of wands comes in in the sense of where it's just like something i want to point out with this card as well is like it's being watched right so it definitely shows to me virgo the sense of and another sign got this similar 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 <laughs> Uh, last week Virgo where just like just do like just put yourself out there because it seems like what it's like something like it's like you put out a bunch of feelers and it's just like one of those feelers actually hooks onto something really um, beautiful for you Virgo so I'm gonna just like really stress that for you this week Virgo is just like explore new things I know it can sound spooky right but it's just like this constant push of where it's just yeah I'm just being shown like repetitive at this point I'm kind of tired of seeing some toes being dipped into water <laughs> let's just yeah let's move on now Taurus or, I'm sorry Taurus now Virgo um if I did I don't think I called you Taurus any other time I apologize Virgo um let's talk about the blessings to come right so we talk about you dipping your toes in right and something coming into fruition right for the ace of pentacles let's see if we can fine-tune that message a little bit more what does that look like right how's it come in what can we kind of expect with this let's see what blessings are going to be coming for my beautiful Virgo this week do, 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 do. Back of the deck energy. The Hermit card. Definitely break out of your shell this week, Virgo. Biggest blessing that you can give yourself. The biggest gift that you can give yourself this week. <coughs> Choking on my own spit, Virgo. Oh, gosh. Um, is to just come out of your shell this week, right? I know, like... Honey, trust me. <laughs> and this, don't take me just saying this, Virgo, as where it's just like, oh, it's just easy. I acknowledge it, honey. Um, like, how difficult it can be. This Nine of Swords, this is something where it's like you're really in your head. Um, I'm not going to just say the word insecure. Um, but actually, yeah, never mind. It does, like, in the sense of, like, insecurity of where it's just like, you're almost trying to like hide it's like some of you virgos want to be like a wallflower or that's like what you're striving to be at this current point like you're just wanting to like not be noticed or not like you're just trying to blend in and that kind of like bums me out man um with this nine of swords it's just it's like ugh. it seems to be like your mind it's like this is like the blockage for you that stops you from fully receiving your blessings, Virgo. And I feel like you can kind of even understand that you kind of already knew this beforehand, right? So let's just say like maybe like um, you really want to get into modeling, but you just keep telling yourself that you need to lose 10 more pounds. Or it's like you really want to do, you really want to read tarot, but you feel as if you convince yourself that you need to like know every single tarot card in the deck. Um, by the back, like the back of your hand before you do tarot readings, right? Maybe you like are comparing, you know, it's just like whatever that nine, it, it, this is a card of just like some, some type of lingering anxiety, lingering thoughts that really um, slow you down, that just keep you paralyzed. Um, and then we have the four of wands and the sun card. Now, this is why I say it's like, that's like the blockage coming in for you, um, for your blessings, Virgo, is because of this, because it's like four of wands for you, say it baby but it's like four of wands that 11 11 card when i when you see this card this is like a this by itself virgo is where it's just like you don't need to do anything different it's already there you just kind of need to continue on your path and just walk into it right you know when you race towards that finish line you don't need to set up the finish line you just run towards it right you don't have to stop and just like pick up this one string pick up the other and then run through it you just run through it 
um don't stress about that right just like don't you know don't get in your head and being like oh do i need to set myself up for like my um ending or whatever right just like go forward into it because with that card i mean four of wands it's like already in the bag but then you have it on top of the best card in the deck in terms of just like that manifest like the happiness card is just having it all having your cake and eating it too it's the sun card you know it's just it's all there virgo it's all there you just have to get out of your own head you have to in whatever way whether it's that perfectionist nature whether it's just you know constantly feeling like you have to be super productive and feel like you always have to be busy uh or like you just are not you know it's almost like you're i don't know we're not going to get into that i guess but let's give some clarifiers though let's see what's up with this my beautiful virgos let's see if we can get any more insight in regards to this these three cards all right let's take a look at what these three cards are so yeah we have the hanged man coming in for you the knight of pentacles as well as the knight of wands two different knights here very much so um knights are youthful energy um virgo so the relevance in that would be like you're not going to feel like an expert Okay, Virgo, and I think you kind of need to just come to terms with this. You're not going to feel any more comfortable than you already are, right? This Knight of Pentacles is following you, Virgo, right? Same thing, right? You're not going to feel comfortable, and you have to just accept that, right? You have to accept the fact that when you go out of your comfort zone, Virgo, you're going to feel like you're going to like the next step is like two plus two equals four you're going to feel uncomfortable but just because of that just because there's like some potentially like uncomfortable feelings that doesn't necessarily mean you're doing something wrong just because like you're not an expert at it initially just because you're not a professional at it right the first time you pick up an instrument doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it right knight of wands it's just like it's all just in the name of passion right it's very much so just like that person is just like you know it's being like in a sense where i'm being like yo i don't know what i'm doing honey but i'm gonna be playing i don't know why i'm being shown a saxophone you're just gonna play that saxophone and just like live your life honey and you're going to enjoy that time while you're playing a saxophone because it's just like you're just in the moment and enjoying the fact that you're learning a new instrument and not beating yourself up, beating yourself up over the fact virgo that you're not sounding like I don't know, I know, honestly, Virgo, I don't know a saxophone player besides, like, Lisa Simpson. So it's just, like, just because you're not Lisa Simpson, right, with the saxophone initially doesn't mean that you shouldn't continue doing it, right? It's all about that action, right? Hanged Man is about taking action and committing to it, actually committing to it, because then um, it's through you committing to it, then you get a shift in perspective, and that's how you see that sun. You wouldn't have seen the sun, Virgo, unless you committed to this action, unless you shifted your perspective and, you know, took action, truly. Um, and so it's one of those things, Virgo, where it's just like, it's not going to make sense until it does. I know, like, it doesn't, <laughs> it's such an annoying thing to hear um, in a reading, right? But definitely just adopting that full energy virgo and it's just like more so just in the sense of just yeah like virgo it's okay you don't need to be perfect at everything that's fine <laughs> right it's completely fine get out of your head something all like that's truly that's your objective this week virgo is <laughs> just to get out of your head so let's get some final thoughts let's see any final cards that we can pull any final messages from my beautiful virgos Mm, yeah, this is necessary for you, Virgo. So we have the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups, as well as the Star card coming in for you. So even if that thing right now that you want to open your heart up to, that one thing that you want to just like put yourself out there for with that Queen of Wands, be that breakout star, really feeding into like a passion, taking that risk, right? Even if it feels un unobtainable right now as that star, even if it's just like, it seems like you would never be able to reach it, you would never be able, be able to accomplish it, You even if you feel like it's just one of those things that you convince yourself, Virgo, that you're just always going, it's going to be like something that you always wish for and never actually comes into life for you, never something that is actually in like hands reach for you, it's going to happen. 
<laughs> Virgo. I mean, with this dynamic, I really do just strongly suggest for you, Virgo, even just so you can just like know, because I know tarot readers, like us tarot readers, baby, will speak in dramatics just because the drama, honey. But like, read up, read up the meanings of these cards. If you know, I'm not just like blowing, like gassing you up, Virgo. This is literally what the cards mean themselves. The star cards, the wish fulfillment, ace of cups, your cup flowing over, feeling extremely fulfilled, cups theme, as well as, um, with this, right, you, you know, bouncing of emotions, um, and I feel like your emotions are bounced kind of, it's almost like you're associating, like you're waiting for the results of something before you're able to, before you allow yourself to take a deep breath, Virgo, <laughs> and it's just, yeah, Queen of Wands, though, the Queen of Wands is someone that, um, honors their passion, honors that spark, and just leans into it more, now, you know, it's not in this deck, but I actually feel like showing it to you, um, in this deck, the Light Sears Tarot deck, uh, Virgo, the Queen of Wands is depicted as an individual who is just so excited about the small little flame, small little flame, Virgo, that she has. Um, she's just like celebrating and chewing. She doesn't pay attention to the all, all the other flames. There it is. All the other flames that are around her. She just is, looks at hers and she's celebrating herself. She doesn't care about all these other flames. Not that she doesn't care, but she is just like, she's focused on hers, right? She doesn't feel, she doesn't compare her flame to everybody else's because she doesn't, it's, it's like apples and oranges, right? So Virgo, get out of your head. Uh, break out of your shell right? Stop being the blockage to your own happiness, right? If there's something that's like these looming thoughts, something that's giving you anxiety, figure out why it's giving you anxiety and, you know, figure out what actions that you can take to rectify it, right? To overcome it. And if you can't take any immediate action, then I ask you why I feel anxious about it. If you can't do anything about it, why not just like work around it, right? Whenever you're driving down a road and you see something in the middle of the road, do you just completely stop? and just like wait for something to happen where it just goes, goes off the road no you take um your you improv isn't the word but it's just like you, you know, improvise right you go around it right you don't allow that one thing in the road to stop you from going to chipotle honey if you wanted to go to chipotle you'll make it work right and i know you're gonna make it work virgo so um yeah that's like a reading that i have for you virgo if you did enjoy this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below be sure to share this video with a friend that you think might be into my messages and then be sure to give this video a like and subscribe till next time though virgo i love you so much